Today is ALS Awareness Month and UC Health is already making upgrades and hires after receiving a $13.5 million donation just days ago. Yeah, what a gift to these patients. WLWT is leading the way with a first look at the changes being done right now. Our morning anchor Megan Mitchell shows us the vision and the difference that it could make for an ALS patient that we actually introduced you to a couple of years ago. Take a look. Within the last week, the ALS clinic at UC has already hired a grief counselor, a dietitian and is looking to the future for better outcomes for people diagnosed with the disease. Blake Miller started noticing a tingle in his leg in 2021. And I'm now having to like hold on to the railing to go upstairs and you know, I, I, I need to get seen by somebody. After six months and no answers, he connected with Dr. Robert Neal after being diagnosed with ALS. Neal also cared for Blake's late father through his ALS journey. This year, He's noticing positive changes after working with UC to receive a clinical trial drug up in Columbus. Uh, energy wise, at least I have a lot more energy than I did before. So that's that's a good thing. I mean, I was kind of getting ready for bed at six, seven o'clock at night. And now I'm able to you know stay up like I used to be. ALS is a nervous system disease that causes loss of muscle control. Eventually, it affects the muscles needed to move, speak, eat and breathe. Today, there's no cure. UC provides a multi-level care team to help. The facility has a state-of-the-art gym. And it simulates an apartment. And a mock home for therapists to work with patients on doing everyday tasks that many take for granted. Hopefully something like this will raise some awareness and get some, some more research going on so we can hopefully find some sort of cure for, for this disease would be fantastic. The hope? comes from a $13.5 million donation from the estate of Hugh Hoffman announced last week. And within days, Dr. Neal hired a dietitian to help patients with specialized nutritional needs. Mental health, also a huge blind spot in overall care, he's addressing that too. So we have hired a counselor who'll be able to work with our patients, who actually is very familiar with ALS. She's worked with ALS patients for years. He's also expanding the work he's already doing that Blake is passionate about as well. But the drug, the thought is after about a year, people were kind of showing a pretty slow progression. Talking with UC med students about the social impacts of disease and spreading awareness. Dr. Neal says ALS has seen the least progress of all of the neurological diseases in the last century. So perhaps the biggest upgrade will actually be the department hiring a scientist, a PhD researcher to join the team with the specific mission of discovering better treatments and hopefully one day finding a cure. Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5.